here I am to present to you about startups. Startups, you know, today is a buzzword. Hai. And in these days of Flipkart, Paytm and what not, I believe everyone knows it. So, I will try to take you a journey, little bit on what is a startup, how it is done, who are the people who are driving startup culture in India currently particularly and how do or how all of us maybe can become a part of this ecosystem. So, just to give you, uh, uh, share a little bit on what is going to be what is what I am going to share, share ahead is first I will try to define what is a startup, then some of the industry initiatives which are being taken currently, then what is the development phase of a startup, who are the current startup drivers, what distinguishes or people who are excelling in the startup ecosystem, what makes them so? as well as little bit on how India market is becoming globalized due to this kind of phenomena. What is the future ahead? And just little bit on one of main founders or innovators, what he has done. So what's a startup? Anyone would like to share? Anyone? Koi bataiye? Kuch bhi? Galak sahi kuch bhi? Bachelor, but I, but I, I believe you have done pretty well. Let's clap for them first. I think you guys, I think that because the two who are over present here have done wonderfully well today. So I salute the children and the parents. So to add, what is a startup? Startup can be a new idea, a new experiment. Catering to some need which is felt, or maybe that need you can think. People have not thought of that need, but you can think it can become a need, or it can be it can minimize pain of someone, or it will help someone. So that loosely we can term as startup. And as the word goes, naturally. Startup has to be something innovative. Startup has to be something which can be replicated, which can be taken to the next level. And if you remember, uh, especially the elders who are present here, late 1980s and early 1990s, some kind of first big phase in the startup or that time it was called dot com, internet. So dot com had come and many companies had mushroom. So to net net, what I have defined is startup is an entrepreneurship effort or a new business which is designed to search for a reputable and scalable business model. So basically it's all about exploration of self. Now, how will it become a startup? How will it come? Like what I shared, it can come out of some of the existing trends or a habit or a cultural phenomena or if you are able to visualize something, if you are able to predict something, it can be that or it can be futuristic also. ये क्या है जो साथ में मैंने लगाया है कोई बताएगा what is that WhatsApp WhatsApp क्या है तो let's clap answer तो दिया किसने तो WhatsApp का कभी कभी knows we can call WhatsApp also a startup and the scalability of the startup can be only felt or understood if we know what is what is what are the numbers in in India at least more than 10 million 
people are currently using it. No, no. Uh, and in world, more than 100, 100 million people are using it. And just to share, on this New Year Day, this report has come in the newspapers also, it was a study. In India, 14 billion, 14 billion messages were transmitted through WhatsApp. So, if you imagine, what, will, what would have happened to Archie cards or SMS or पीछे चले जाए postcard वो भी बंद हो चुका है telegram वो भी बंद हो चुका है so the potential the simple potential of this uh, starter that is what that is what I was telling you scalable and again startup क्या हो सकता है जैसे मैंने बताया It has to solve something. So, it, it has to be essentially customer centric or people centric. Only then it will be meaningful. It has to cater to some audience or some target. Then again, it has to be unique. Ideal. So that it's sustainable. And of course, if it's, if it's able to minimize pain, if it able to give you solution in day to day life or for that matter simplifies or eases your way of working and of course it has to facilitate the customer and third big uh, mode can be product or services just little bit of this like Ola you have heard, Uber you have heard Oyo rooms you have heard. So these are what products you can call. Okay. So here I have just tried to <coughs> put logos or images of some of the startup. <coughs> Little bit. Diami, Groupon, Snappy, Mintra, <coughs> Jabong. Jabong has now been taken over by Mintra of course. Flipkart. Founded in 2007, Flipkart was one of the initial, I would say, big success stories of Indian entrepreneurship or startup system. Started in 2007, struggled for 2-3 years and then slowly evolved. And it has been very, uh, it is a uh, showcase startup of India currently. Just to share a little bit on the government and industry initiatives on startup. So industry per se, till about two years back and government also have not really done much to inculcate this culture. Still I thought it would be uh, meaningful for me to share a little bit of some people, some industries who have done some work like Reliance. They last 2-3 years now they have started an accelerator program in which children or uh, entrepreneurs or young but budding talent people they are invited <coughs> so that they can sh share their thoughts and learn and also maybe earn. So they have selected some startups who are engaged and they provide them facilities at the Navi Mumbai workshop also, office also. And they have themselves started a little bit on some of the startup, not much now, for a business of their size. Then Infosys and the big company has also established a fund of 1500 crores and they are motivating people to invest their time and effort into startup. And our Narayan Murthy, who is the well known. Face, who is the most visible face of Infosys now, retired now, but he in his own capacity also has invested in some of the startups. Again, Microsoft traditionally everyone knows, one of the largest US companies and having presence everywhere. So they have also started doing their bit in inculcating the startup culture in India and promoting to some of the tyre. Similarly, other big IT companies, HCL, Wipro, they have also started doing 
Azeem Premji, in his personal capacity as a Petro chairman, has also invested in some of the startups. Car Media is a particularly famous startup. And Mintra also. Ratan Tata also, in his personal capacity, has now uh, done more than 40 startups. So some of, to name some of them, Snapdeal, KTM, Moda, and others. Now shall I break? Or there is a question? Or am I going too fast or too slow? I need some response. Okay, ma'am, can we keep it? Here, sir. Good. Oh, I am encouraged. That side, back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both are both side. Yes, yeah, no. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So I'll go ahead. क्या होता है स्टार्टअप थोड़ा सा मैंने बता दिया इंडस्ट्री के बारे में सम पीपल हु सपोर्टेड बट नो आई विल कम टू द रियल थिंग जैसा पहले भी मैंने बोला था स्टार्टअप ऐसे तो बनेगा नहीं अब कितने भी ब्राइट हो या कितने भी अच्छे हो वी नीड टू थिंक एंड देन वी नीड टू एग्जीक्यूट सो बाय थिंकिंग देन मे बी वी आर अलोन मे बी वी आर इन अ टीम then we have to give it some kind of concrete shape some discussions between maybe we can sound off to our peers or some seniors or some professors or some well wishers and then we have to give some kind of concept give some kind of more tangible picture to it and of course commitment even if we have to score Good in 10 or 12, which are giving many students to be here who are here today. The commitment has to be the what I would say consistent and exemplary. So commitment also means belief, belief in what you are doing. If you are if you believe, then you can develop something and maybe it will require some course corrections also, but the commitment and belief is essential. And then you need to really validate it to some numbers, it can be some, it can be revenue generation, it can be growth, it can be usability and then actually it has to be scalable like I gave example of WhatsApp or Facebook or for that matter any people are using it. So it can be scaled, idea can be scaled. Of course when Facebook was developed, he had not thought of monetizing it. I didn't think that I would get money from it. Do you know what Facebook was made? Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. This was a college where Zuckerberg and his friends were made. They were made in their group. They were made in their college. They were made in their college. Very good. Let's clap on that. Okay. So the idea was that. The idea was networking among students. But see. Where that idea has reached today? Where, where has it reached today? The whole world is slave of Facebook, if I may use it loosely. Everyone in the morning or the night or the afternoon or in office, they use it. So that's what, so, so, <coughs> that was really scalable. And of course, to make it viable, to make it, it has to be, you have to keep yourself firm on the course, you have to establish yourself. So this is so loosely I have defined what is how a startup is developed. Fon karte, who are the people? People like us, people who are sitting in this room, students and bright minds. Any one of us is capable of creating an idea. That's why I say startup this current phase is being riding on a lot of capable young people. Of course, people with high energy, people who are thinking to people who are willing to think and willing to break conventions also. Routine thinking So unless you are able to break conventions, think afresh, 
put new energy only then you will be able and of course you need to explore you need to try new thing then you will be able to create startups and of course in the current age one needs to be tech savvy globally savvy what is happening around and you have to also have a feel of what is happening latest trends you need to study also we are sitting in it kanpur so currently whatever the premium startups or startups which are being developed most of them are it guys and i am also and also very important to understand the alumni network people who have worked in silicon valley or who who have become their founding board so this kind of people are primarily driving or founders or becoming founders or are creating startups currently in india also another group like i shared earlier some of the industries they are driving and of course some of the entrepreneurs or angel investors as funding people who give funding they are called in this startup culture so they are also driving in terms of funding or giving the wings to the people who are coming in with entrepreneurship ideas so they are also facilitating and of course then there are some venture capitalists professional firms primarily uh, multinational or i would say us and other country firms but indian firms are, have also come now so some of them are names just for your reference tiger global sequoia matrix and say partners kalari is indian firm very active so these firms are giving money to the budding entrepreneurs so that they can test their ideas and maybe succeed or maybe fail but either way it's really important for one to explore if one is having that energy also now i come to some of the drivers which i shared earlier also like these are the people sachin balsar who is co-founder of flipkart so now he is also investing in startups he himself is in his personal capacity he is invested in many startups news in shorts has become pretty big now people are using it ather vipozo madrag and so in his own capacity they are he is done similarly kunal behel another marki i would say startup founder in india have been most of the entrepreneur startup entrepreneurs know him know his name so he is also investing youngsters by investing in many try photo tiny all that folding now so people some of them have failed some of them have grown but it's your energy which which can make it sustainable then again in mobi is a uh, well known uh, startup established uh, 10 12 years back so he has also invested in uh, some of the startup and of course uh, google india ex google india said rajan anandan he is a pretty savvy investor and of course he has held uh, great position in microsoft india and dell india he knows the culture also so he he is a he keeps on investing and trying new ideas so i think i'm in आप लोग कोई क्वेश्चन समझ में आ रहा है क्वेश्चन याद रख रहे हैं पूछने के लिए मुझसे मुझसे क्वेश्चन भी पूछिएगा ऐसे मत जाने दीजिएगा ठीक है क्यों तो सिखाया है क्या इनको इनको बस क्यों बोलो तो समझ में आ रहा है ओह ग्रेट सो आई नदर दिस दिस इज या दिस इज वन जो हस्बैंड वाइफ कृष्ण गणेश एंड मीना गणेश दे आर हैंड्स ऑन स्टार्टअप इन्वेस्टर्स they have created their own startup and also they are regularly they are uh, funding they are investing and they are also they are of a different breed they invest time also they invest time they invest energy and they are very successful they have invested i have written only few names but they have invested in many startup now acche startup kaun banata hai या कुछ इसमें पढ़ाई के लिए भी है जो बच्चे लोग पढ़ रहे हैं उसके मम्मी पापा भी हैं यहाँ बैठे हुए हैं तो पढ़ाई के लिए भी सब ऑफ द ट्रेड